Video is defined as a recording of moving visual images. Most post estimation systems work on either static images, ignoring the existing information in the movement, or require extra information like depth data. Alternatively, we can estimate 2D human pose exploiting only the motion present in monocular video. We call it FlowCap, Human Pose Capture from Optical Flow. The Microsoft Connect has revolutionized 3D human pose estimation thanks to its low-cost sensor and the use of machine learning algorithms to estimate pose. Unfortunately, the Connect is still much less available than standard video cameras, and its active illumination fails in situations like this outdoor scene. The algorithms behind the Connect require depth data and do not readily generalize to standard video due to the huge variability of human appearance, lighting, and scene structure. We describe a new method for 2D pose estimation that automatically detects and tracks the body in monocular video. It works from any video source, including archival video like television shows, or even from cell phone cameras. Images are widely available, but are currently too complex for automated pose estimation. Most pose estimation monocular methods extract gradient-based features and try to find human-looking patterns. However, such patterns can easily appear in the background or in clothing. Range data makes pose estimation easy by removing the variability of human appearance, but it is not widely available. Our key insight is that human motion is recognisable from optical flow, shown here using a standard colour coding for direction and magnitude. Optical flow contains information much like a depth image. It effectively removes the complexity of scene appearance and it captures the overall shape of the body. For training, we generate pairs of images of human bodies in motion. The pairs are generated from a reposable, reshapable human body model built from thousands of 3D scans. We compute the optical flow between the frames using an off-the-shelf method. We also know the segmentation of the body into parts, the location of the joints and the 3D pose of the body. We generate training data at multiple scales. We discard the images and use the flow and 2D part segmentation map to train our method. Following Schotten and others, we train a random decision forest to perform per pixel part classification using the flow fields. The colour in this sequence represents the body part with the highest probability at each pixel. In the absence of movement, pixels are classified as background. The person disappears when stationary. But when they disappear, we actually learn something important. They are not moving. Their pose is not changing. Consequently, we go beyond previous work to integrate information over time. To do so, we use a Kalman filter, in which the velocity of the body parts is directly observed through the optical flow, and the positions through the body part segmentations. To make the system robust to incorrect body part detections, the observation error is dynamically estimated based on the total probability of a body part observed in the image. We estimate the centers of body parts. To compare with other pose estimation systems, we train a linear regressor from part centroids to joint locations using our training dataset. The regressor is trained with an elastic net regularizer, where the weight between the lasso and the ridge regularizers is chosen by cross-validation. We compared the performance of our system in a sequence depicting a dancing scene in a living room, captured with a Kinect RGB camera. Using the range data, Kinect, shown in red, performs almost perfectly in this sequence. We show the 2D projection of the Kinect skeleton for comparison. The single frame pose estimation of Yang and Ramanan is shown in yellow. It uses only image evidence in a single frame and fails often in this sequence. Our method in Cyan outperforms Yang and Ramanan on the hands and elbows, with similar accuracy on the rest of the body parts. Although this is in a controlled setting, the results show that optical flow represents a very valuable source of information about body pose and dynamic scenes. A key advantage of flow over depth is its applicability to different input sources. For example, this sequence is recorded with a handheld cell phone. Pose estimation is performed offline. To deal with camera movement, we robustly estimate the dominant homography between frames and subtract its 2D image motion from the estimated flow field before pose estimation. Most importantly, FlowCap can be used with archival video sources, where no range data is available. If the actor is moving, as in these scenes, FlowCap can get a good estimate of their pose. Note that these are currently challenging sequences for traditional pose estimation methods, like the flexible mixture of parts. FlowCap can, however, provide an additional cue in combination with traditional static systems. To be more general, we need to extend FlowCap to deal with multiple people, background motion, and scene cuts. Every component in FlowCap can be real-time. Real-time optical flow algorithms perform comparatively well, and FlowCap accuracy decreases only slightly when using them. 
We treat optical flow as an alternative to range data in a Connect style pose estimation system. Optical flow has several advantages over range data. It can be computed from any video source, including cell phone cameras or archival video, and it also tells us how the body is moving. On the other hand, flow does not give direct access to 3D pose, so consequently our current pose estimates are only in 2D. 2D human pose is valuable for action recognition and is widely studied. It may also be sufficient for many game and gestural interfaces. Our key novelty is recognising that optical flow conveys a great deal about human pose. The key impact of this work will be to open up pose estimation to anybody with a video camera. We will release training data to enable widespread application of the technology.